Hi. Good morning, evening, or afternoon, depending on where you are. I am at the intersection of Bloor and Spadina, and it is late. Actually, I think it's 11.51 p.m. I looked this time before starting the video, and we are going to be walking along Bloor Street. I figured, since it's a nice snowy night, why not have a little stroll? Might not be the longest video. In fact, you can see I have a pizza I just picked up. Just to have a little bit of a snack. Oh, I forgot to say it's uh, January 1st still. It's the night of January 1st. And it just started snowing about an hour or two ago. So I figured you know, why not have a little stroll in it? Sometimes it's usually a bit quiet to walk through the snow, but Bloor Street is never really quiet. So this building over here is the U of T High School, and I've never actually been able to get a clear answer as to whether this is meant for students who are preparing to become, or do their undergrad at U of T, like academics, or if this is meant for teachers who are training at U of T. But I'm not sure it's for the latter because we'll be coming up upon Hoise, which is Teachers College. And from what I understand, that teachers who are trained at Hoise or who are doing their Teachers College or even a MED, they're not usually sent to teach at this university or the, the U of T High School. So I'm still not clear on what the U of T High School is for exactly which, like many things on my channel so far, is probably easy to find out with Google. So, over here, in Galleria, that used to be G's convenience store, like the letter G, and this was one of the first times that I ever saw a giant rat. And it wasn't inside the convenience store, but it was actually, um, outside of it, just in front there where that stone sculpture is. I saw a rat just like run across when I was younger. And there's some historical significance about these apartment buildings here. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember watching like a documentary short about them. Probably should have looked it up before doing this. It was the Fortunate Fox, which I've never actually been in. Fortunately, right now it's closed. Not permanently, but just closed because all bars and restaurants in Ontario have to close. They have to do last call at 10 and then close at 11. So none of them are open right now. Even, I guess that restaurant over there might be closed. No, they should be closed too. I guess they're just cleaning up. But this is the lobby of the St. George Hotel. Still have their Christmas decorations up. And over here is the Bata Shoe Museum, which I haven't actually been to in years. We went once for a high school trip, which I thought was pretty cool. And I think I've gone inside one time when they were open during Nuit Blanche. This is now a dentist's office. I think this used to be a bar at one time, was it not? Although it kind of looks like a bank. Perhaps I'm quite wrong. And now we're at St. George and Bloor. This hot dog stand has been here forever. 
feel like it's one of the favorites amongst U of T students to come and get a quick hot dog. Personally, I've never had one. And over across the street there is, I'm trying to remember the name, I want to say like Mercurio, Mercutio. It's like a little restaurant slash bar. And one of the first times that I ever saw Margaret Atwood in person. And she was there. I did not approach, I'm way too scared. But I have seen her in person a couple of other times since. Uh, L'espresso, what is it called? L'espresso, L'espresso something. And this ominous building right here is Oise, the Ontario Institute of, I forget what the S and the E stand for, but it's a U of T department or building where they have, they do a lot of adult education and for teachers' colleges. We'll find out what the acronym is. Oh, there we go. The Ontario Institute for Studies in Education. I miss working at this library. You see it quite warm in there in the summer, though. I feel by the time I get home, my pizza's gonna be cold. And across the street here, we have the Varsity Stadium. In the winter, I don't know if you can see it too clearly, but they usually have this giant dome where they do a lot of their indoor sporting events in there. But I can imagine not many are really happening this year because of Omicron. Uh, this Tim Hortons here is, I was gonna say famous, it's not really famous, but to me it's where I used to go and get my morning coffees. So I have fond memories of this place. Or maybe terrible memories of this place. Because I hated lining up there. Lamps were always very long. And there's the building that is home of our mayor, John Tory. And I know that because of fortunate reasons that the anti-vaccine protesters or the anti-mask protesters were protesting out there. <laughs> Why are they all there one day? It's like, oh, because John Tory lives there, of course. And there, I think, is the, the Tele Center for Performing and Learning, which I think was like the Faculty of Music, or one of the departments of the Faculty of Music at U of T, one of those old buildings. I had a friend who, uh, she had to do a piano recital for one of her degrees. So she had to rent out a piano in a whole room inside of this building right here. Gosh, this was a long time ago. And you can see up ahead over on the right side is the ROM. The, what do they call it? The crystal, the crystal exhibit expansion, something like that. A lot of people in Toronto are very mixed when that got built. Some of them were saying it was really ugly, like an eyesore, like a crumpled ball of aluminum foil, while other people really liked it. Personally, I don't mind how it looks visually because I like really interesting architecture like that, because it's not boring and it's really distinct. But what I'm not a fan of is what they did. That guy just ran over the bicycle thing. I didn't catch that on camera, but you heard it. <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, this is the, uh, the ROM. And though I like the exterior of the crystal expansion, or whatever it's formally called, I really forget. I don't really like what they did with the dinosaurs. So, the dinosaurs used to be in like these dioramas with painted murals and backgrounds. 
And they were so much cooler to look at back then. Like this is when I was a kid. And then they were moved here and it sort of looks like they literally just turned off the lights, didn't they? Because I thought it was on a second ago. But it looks like you're inside like an Apple store. But instead of iPhones on display, it's dinosaurs. Like it's the sterilization of the gallery, of the museum. Wow. And here used to be one of my favorite sandwich places. I think it was like Belly Busters. It's gone now. It's been gone for a while. And Pico is here, but I'm not really a fan of like Pico. And I know it's controversial because a lot of Torontonians really love Pico. But the Pico or Pico? I think I'm just not a fan of Neapolitan pizza. Like, it feels like nobody put any effort in the preparation of the ingredients. Like, we ordered it one time and the garlic was just in big chunks. Like, it wasn't diced and spread around. It was just, you take a bite and there's a big chunk of garlic in the bite. And then you take another bite and there's nothing. It's just bread and sauce. So, it's really beautiful how Bloor Street looks right now. We're gonna cross over and walk on the south side. I'm gonna look at the ROM. I was thinking of buying a membership to it, but I'll wait till COVID restrictions kind of relax a bit. I think it's like 140 for a year. I don't go to the ROM that often, but when I do go, I find I'm rushing through exhibits. So I wonder if I had like a yearly membership that maybe I'd go there and like spend like, you know, a few hours in one exhibit instead of just like trying to fit in 20 exhibits in the span of like five hours. So this used to be a giant banana republic. Or was it a Club Monaco? I can't really remember. And the rumor was for a while that this was going to turn into an Apple store, but it never did. Then they call this strip of Bloor Street the Miracle Mile. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Hell is in store here. I really hear the snow crunching on my feet. So I actually really like the Bloor bike lanes. I know they kind of constrict traffic a bit, but I like them because they're separated, like there's barriers now. They used to have these metal wavy ones, but cars were just crunching over them. And they were expensive to make, so it was a bit of a waste of money. Usually there's a giant lit up cat on top of the Cartier building for Christmas, but I don't see it. Unless they've taken it down already. Usually it's right there, right above the sign. I always forget that there's like a giant winners here. Because I like Winners, but it seems so out of place compared to like Brooks Brothers and Hermes and Coach. Even though I got my gloves on my hand, it's starting to get cold. It's really got chilly in Toronto in the last like couple of hours actually kind of nice earlier today when I did my earlier walk. Look at these 
The displays are empty at night though. They take all the jewelry and lock it away. There's Hermes. Oh, we heard we heard someone on YouTube the other day called Hermes. <laughs> I mean, that's an okay mistake. We have Hermes from Futurama. I'd probably make that mistake too. But I have friends with exquisite taste, so I hear them say Hermes a lot. It's really quiet now when there's not too much traffic. It looks like it's flickering. Huh. So there's the root store. And it used to be further back behind us. I can't remember when it moved there. The Sephora store for all your cosmetic needs. So over there at the corner, the far corner, like the opposite one from us, that used to be the Gap flagship store. Let me try it again. The Gap flagship store. There we go. The biggest Gap in Toronto. I don't know if it was Toronto's flagship store or Canada's flagship store, but it closed down about a year ago. I never got shopping there because I'm not really huge on the Gap, but it's still sad to see like a giant building like this just sit vacant like nothing nothing else is there nothing's been there it's just been empty like that and I think they just renovated it too before they closed it down and if we swing around this way we've got Italy So this strip, for whatever reason, for the bike lanes, like it's not as protected and a lot of cars go in and out of it. And there's actually been many times where I've ridden along here and people just step out. And I don't know why, like they forget that this is an active lane. Like you have to, as a pedestrian, treat the bike lanes like you would a traffic lane. Just a little rant. It's so beautiful in there. Manual Life Center entrance. Then we have Holt Renfrew, which used to be very pink, but now it's all white. They've been doing renovations to the front of it for a while now, so they finally finished. And now we have a big LCBO here, which this used to be the William Ashley, the China store, where you get fine china and dishes. And now it's a big LCBO. They closed the one that was inside Manual Life Center, so this one takes its place, which means for the people who conveniently lived above it in the apartments, they now have to go outside to get their booze. And this was very clearly Scotiabank for many years. And the only thing I've ever seen opened up in it was two years ago, it was a Spirit Halloween store. Nothing since. This is a fine art gallery. A 
H&M. Now we're at Young and Bloor, which this giant Apple store is going into. Or at least that's the rumor. But I mean, nobody else has giant panes of glass like this. Usually it's an Apple store thing. So I get to cross. So I am gonna end this. So if I get over to the not windy corner. I could actually flip the thing around. My hands are so cold. One, two, three. There we go. Much better. So, thank you for joining me on this kind of quick walk. 20 minute walk. Uh, my hands are cold because it's getting really chilly. And they say the next week it's going to be about minus 10 to 15. So I don't even know how my camera is going to be in this cold weather. But hopefully I'll get to another walk soon waiting for the snow plow to go through the intersection. There we go, it's gone now. All right, well, thank you, take care, bye.